Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jay and welcome to the channel and welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdoms Alpha. In today's episode, we are going to be introducing the final of our big habitat dinosaurs and that is of course the Tyrannosaurus Rex. If you do like the sound of that and if you do like today's video, please do consider leaving a like on the video and of course do subscribe for more content like this. With that intro out of the way, let's talk about today's episode and what we're going to be doing. So, like I mentioned, we are going to be adding in a Tyrannosaurus Rex that is going to be the last of our dinosaurs. Um, kind of. I mean, of course, we do have the other uh, skin variations and stuff for the T-Rex and, of course, some of the other dinosaurs, which we might explore later down the line. Um, but yeah, we've kind of gone through most of the, the alpha as we've, you know, kind of progressed across these past few weeks and these past few episodes. And I gotta say, like, I think this episode, because I have talked about the T-Rex plenty of times in other videos, like with Jurassic World Evolution and stuff, um, and uh, the build itself is actually pretty straightforward. We have this underground, well, not underground, but like lowered viewing area for the guests. But that's pretty much it for anything novel, and I'll talk about some of the stuff as we get to it. But I'd like to take the time today to kind of actually just reflect on the the whole of the alpha experience and kind of prehistoric kingdom as a whole before, of course, next week we'll still have a video. We're going to go on a tour of the park and stuff like that. But it'd be nice to just talk about it for a bit because it has been a pretty cool experience and I think it's just generally given us quite a bit of an idea of what the game is going to be like when it's fully released for everyone to enjoy. So um, yeah, like while we're doing all this stuff on screen, which is again just the lower viewing area, let's talk about Prehistoric Kingdom. So my first thoughts of the alpha as a whole is that it's been just abundantly clear how um, much effort and uh, time and really a lot of passion has been put into this project. You can tell this is a game that's been worked on for a long long time by a team that is absolutely dedicated to it and for that I want to say just a huge huge um, congratulations to the team for getting the game out uh, in, even in the alpha stages and of course beta and stuff like that you know for building up such like a dedicated fan base as well um, just huge huge props it's um, a really great achievement what they've done and they've produced something quite special I think and um, beyond just that the game itself even from an alpha already shows so much promise some of the features in here we've not really seen in any other simulation game or if we have it not been to quite this extent or in this specific genre. Of course I'm talking specifically about the scaling tool. More than anything that scaling tool has given us creativity unlike anything we've really seen before in this genre of game and um, you know beyond just that the ability of uh, the ability they've given us is to the ability to customize pretty much anything we want to suit our taste as you can see just by looking at how I'm building this current structure on screen like if I want to scale something a different way I can do that I can rotate things any way I want uh, if I'm not a fan of the texture of one thing I can just switch it out like that it's genuinely so impressive how much creative control we're given it is truly truly a great thing and it shows that I think they really understand what players of this kind of genre are looking for this isn't something like, say, Jurassic World Evolution, which is, of course, a very different type of game, and that's focused a lot more on the the mechanics of kind of managing uh, large-scale parks with dinosaurs and stuff like that, and you, it's taken us up a scale, basically. Whereas in Twisted Kingdom, it still keeps us at a much more grounded scale, like a, like a zoo game, like Planet Zoo or Zoo Tycoon. And I think that's a really good thing. Um, not saying that the larger scale is bad, it just doesn't suit this specific type of gameplay. Like with Jurassic World Evolution, that does suit it of course because it has those mechanics in place. But with this, it really does suit that kind of granular, very detail-oriented gameplay and I think it works really well. And just overall, I am I'm really pleased with everything I've seen in the game. There's nothing I've seen which has been, you know, kind of like... Eh, I'm not too big a fan of that or anything like that. Like everything here, even if it's not like polished or anything, shows so much promise and that makes me just tremendously excited for the future of the game. I think it's going to be really cool as you progress. And that's just talking about the mechanics and stuff. Uh, we of course have to talk about the stars of the show, the animals themselves, and the detail and the, the care that's been put into creating these creatures is incredibly evident. Like, I don't have to really say it, you can see it from the videos that I put out. The animals look so good, they're extremely lifelike, 
Of course, they're not polished uh, to the level you would expect from a full game, of course, being an alpha. There's a lot more that needs to be seen for them, for me to truly, like, really appreciate the, um, kind of the level of detail that's been put into it. For example, they don't have an awful lot of behaviors yet, but, like, from reading the developer logs and stuff, we know that stuff they've been really working on, and you can tell that that sort of, sort of stuff, that once it's in the game, it's gonna be really cool to watch. And I'm, I'm just really excited for it because uh, right now the animals look beautiful and they move around pretty well and they have some really cool animations, but they aren't doing an awful lot, which is, again, but like always gotta say, this is an alpha, it's entirely understandable that they're not gonna be doing very much. Like, that's not like the point of the alpha. But um, from reading the developer's logs and stuff, you can tell that they are planning on really uh, getting in some really cool behaviors and animations and stuff like that and making each of these species unique in their own different ways So I am looking forward to seeing that like we have some really unique species coming down the line Like dino carrot and stuff which you know are gonna need uh, really specific behaviors So I am looking forward to uh, really seeing how they kind of go about that and introduce all that um, Aside from like behaviors and stuff the roster is incredibly good like they, we are seeing not just like staples, like of course Tyrannosaurus Rex, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, all of those are of course staples of the genre, you know, we will see them in pretty much any prehistoric park builder or any prehistoric game in general. But uh, what is really uh, quite cool is they're introducing species we've never really seen before. Like I mentioned, we just talked about Dino Kyrus, and uh, while we have seen Dino Kyrus in like mods and stuff in other games, like there's few Dino Kyrus mods for Jurassic World Evolution, no game has started off with a Dino Kairos, not even the old uh, Jurassic, uh, sorry, the old uh, Zoo Tycoon games. Though that, I mean, fair enough. Like, I don't think we knew what Dino Kairos looked like back then. But, um, yeah, just, just showing us that they really are interested in showing us, like, not just traditional, like, animals that we all know about, but new ones that maybe people haven't heard of. Or not even just that, but animals that maybe. Uh, we've only recently found out what they look like, like Dinochirus or Microraptor, where we now know what color its feathers were and they've introduced that into the game. You know, so stuff like that is really quite impressive, I think. And they, they seem to be really taking quite um, an effort to bring in scientific accuracy, which is, again, something I am always going to be on board with. I'm a big fan of that. And I think it's looking like they're really taking that care and effort to make these animals feel like animals, and that is so good. Another really cool thing, prehistoric mammals is something we're getting, and that is going to be incredibly cool. Uh, we've of course seen some of the images in action of the Smilodon, the Mammoth, um, the Woolly Rhinoceros. You know, we've got some really cool ones in the way. Extremely, extremely excited for that sort of thing, and I think it will really... Um, really bring a lot of variety to the game because while caring for dinosaurs you might end up kind of building similar-ish habitats for a lot of them. Uh, when it comes to mammals and stuff you're gonna have to think out of the box. It's kind of like how if you're building in Planet Zoo or something like that and you're building in say a warm weather biome and suddenly you bring in a cold weather animal and you're gonna have to think out of the box like oh they're not gonna need an indoor habitat that sort of thing and I think that's kind of how the mammals are gonna fit in it's like it's going to get you to think a lot more about how you're introducing these animals and maintaining their welfare. And I'm very, very excited to see that. And um, talking about some of the just the visual aspects of the game, even from the alpha, it is so clear they know what they're doing. The um, rocks, the terrain all look extremely good. I love the, the ability of us to kind of dapple terrain elements all over the place using like just kind of more... Um, subtle like terrain changes and stuff like using the density tool versus the size tool versus the opacity tool all that very very helpful stuff and um the foliage brush is incredible the ability of us to just select which foliage we want and then plop it down and create really good looking like forest or you know glades and stuff like that very quickly all is so good like you can see it on screen like for this t-rex habitat it came together incredibly quickly using these tools and it looks really quite good with relatively little effort. And I think that's going to be so good, especially for players who are newer to these type of games. Being able to do all this really quick is going to be such a great uh, kind of confidence boost. And it is going to help with their learning curve quite significantly as well. So, yeah, just big kudos to the game in general. 
I have very little, if anything, to say in the way of uh, constructive criticism because I think they're working on everything I might have issue with. For example, I think guest AI needs a lot of work, but I think they know that. I, I'm sure they're working on that. Uh, animal um, behaviors, of course, they're working on, which is going to be really fun to watch. I think uh, some of the little things like just the UI, um, maybe like neatening up in some areas, making it a little bit less complex. And I think, again, they, they've done some of that already in the alpha. So, like, I, I have no doubt that they're, they're going to be, like, um, on top of things. So very, very uh, confident in that in general. So, yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to say. It's really great. Uh, I'm very happy with how this, this alpha has gone. I'm looking forward to the beta and then, of course, early access and full release down the line because I know I like there's some animals I would like to see in Prehistoric Kingdom which aren't added yet, but I believe they're going to be added in the full release, which is probably over a year away, like um, Spinosaurus, for example, of course. But again, that's way down the line, and I'm just excited for what comes next in general. So, big props to Prehistoric Kingdom. I'm a huge fan of the work. Uh, great job to all the team members. You guys have really produced something quite amazing, and I'm looking forward to more. And now, uh, me talking about all that out of the way, I hope you've enjoyed today's Habitat build. It's been relatively straightforward in general. Uh, nothing too fancy or anything like that. It is... um. It's been quite a fun build. I do like working with the, the larger habitat areas and building this kind of lowered uh, viewing area has been quite fun. So guests can actually go right down to the bottom, look out the glass, or they can actually go on top where there's a little canopy as well and look into the T-Rex habitat. I introduced just a couple of T-Rexes here. Not very many, of course, not as many as some of the other habitats. And they're just kind of hanging out and they look really good in here. Adding in just the, the railings here with the fence and the... Um, the kind of net to catch anyone who falls in because you do not want to fall into a T-Rex habitat. So I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, with that all being said, I'm, the cinematics will come up in just a bit, which I'm going to record now. Uh, again, cinematics are quite fun to record as well because the animals are just fun to watch. So I, kinda, I can only imagine once they have their full range of behaviors, how amazing that's going to be. So let's look forward to that. <laughs> But yeah, um, next week we're going to go on a tour of everything, kind of just look at what we've done so far and uh, where we go from there. But until then, thanks so much for watching. Do you like the video? If you did like it, of course, um, leave a comment. Tell me what you thought of the series, what you thought of the beta, uh, if you have any further requests, because I don't necessarily need to finish up with this park. I can always just add a few more like variations of skins and stuff. Let me know if you would like to see that. Um, do subscribe for more content like this. We do Prehistoric Kingdom videos, we do Jurassic World Evolution videos, and of course Planet Zoo videos. And with that all being said, I want to say, uh, as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Mm.